Hey guys, welcome to Master the Riff 137. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to play uh, the main riff to Saviour's uh, Never Cry by Harem Scarum, which is off their 93 album Mood Swings, which is a fantastic album. It's packed with awesome uh, melodic um, guitar playing. Pete Lesperance is an awesome guitar player, so if you've never checked out the album, I heartily recommend you go and listen to it. But this is the opening track in the album, and it's a real bone crunching uh, kind of riff. So, I'm a half step down and dropped for this, so I've got like a D flat in the bass here. Then I've got an A flat, a D flat, G flat, B flat, and an E flat in the top. Okay, so this starts off with um, something I've mentioned many, many times in the lessons, a little bit of muted legato. So what I'm going to be playing is I'm going to be hammering on uh, 3, 4, 5 on the A string here and I use, I think I switch between either using the first three fingers or the first, second and fourth finger. But what I'm doing is I'm lightly resting the heel, you know, this part of my right hand to palm mute that A string so when I hit it, you get a kind of more of a kind of punchy sound. And that's um, a 16th note triplet, so you've got three of those. Then what I'm going to do is do a hammer and pull off three to four, back to three on the D string. Okay, so you can get six notes there. And then I'm going to end it by playing fifth fret of uh, that A string, basically. That's kind of the feeling that you want to get. So to practice this a little bit, because this is quite, you know, I've played uh, 127 BPM, uh, 16th note triplet. You want to just practice ending in that note there, because that's kind of the beat two, basically. Okay, so basically we do that. Then I'm going to play this little idea, so it's kind of, there's actually two guitar parts here. There's another guitar that's just playing, just playing like in a low, uh, kind of D flat. But we're going to be playing a pedal note idea with that fifth fret of the A string. So I've just landed on this after. Okay, so I play that, then I'm going to be playing fifth fret of the D string. Now either bar with the third finger or you know fourth finger, whatever feels comfortable there, whatever you landed on basically. This is all palm muted as well. Then I go back to fifth fret A string, then third fret D string, and then five three in that A string. Okay, so it kind of goes. Yeah, all even eighths there. And basically, we're going to be doing, that's kind of like the first bar of the riff. And what we change uh, when we play the next kind of bunch of bars is this ending bar, the second bar. So the first time you have an ending, it sounds like this. So what I'm playing here is I'm playing fifth fret of that A string. Then I'm going to do a quick hammer, a grace note hammer really, three to four in the D string. That's muted, little rest, and then do five, three, five in that A string. Where I land in that five and just get a little bit of vibrato and a little bit more sustain, last for a beat. Okay, so together with that first bar, since like this. Okay, then we play our first bar again. And then the second uh, kind of different ending here, we play fifth fret of the A string. Okay, so I just play that fifth fret A string, and I've got a rest that basically lasts um, really for kind of two and a half beats. But the way to think about this next bit is you're wanting to land the fifth fret of this G string on beat four. So you're hammering three to four in the D string, and then I'm going to play fifth fret of that G string, but that lands on uh, four. So it's kind of like and four, and four. Like that, okay. So that together with the first bar sends it this. Okay. Then uh, we play that first bar again. 
we have an ending goes like this. Okay, so I'm playing five in the A string, then three, five in the D string. Then I'm going to slide from five to seven on the D string, and then play three in the D, and then five in the A. Okay, then we've got our little uh, muted legato bit again. And then this is where it changes. What well, I'm going to end here with this fifth fret G string, a little bend. It's almost like a kind of very quick whole step bend. And then I play three in the D string. And then I end fifth fret of that A string, which is your kind of second bar. Okay. Then I have this bit that sounds like this. Okay. So what I'm doing here is I'm playing third fret of that A string. I'm going to bend up and down quickly. Yeah, it's kind of a whole step bend. But once I've released that bend, I slowly bend up about a half step to lead into kind of the next part of the riff. Okay, so those two bars sound like this. Okay, so now we're in the main riff. I'm going to kick it off with a D power chord. So I'm playing 5th fret of the A, 7th fret of the D and G strings. I use my 1st, 3rd and 4th fingers for that. Then I'm going to play a palm muted open D and A strings twice. Use down strokes for that to give it a bit more edge. And I play 3rd fret of that, those two strings with the 1st finger batting and I give it a little bit of a vibrato. Then I play them palm muted again, and I'm going to play fa fifth fret of the A string, sixth fret of the D string. Diminished thing, you've kind of got this thing going on in the riff. So that kind of sounds like this. Okay. Next bit sounds like this. Okay. So I'm going to play those uh, D and A strings palm muted. Then I'm going to play three, then five. So you're kind of climbing up like that. Then I'm going to slide, and I'm going to slide to the sixth fret with that third finger. So I'm batting both these strings here. Then I play fifth fret, and then third fret, and then I use the third finger again to bar the fifth fret of the A and D strings. Okay, so the first, well, that's nice and heavy and palm muted, but this bit you could probably play with no palm mute. That bit there. Probably palm muted and then that open. Okay. Then I play, so I'm playing zero and then three and zero, barring those two strings again. And then I have three little power chords in a row. I'm playing like a C power chord, I'm at the third fret, fifth on the D and G, move it down a fret, move it down a fret again. Then we have this little ending fill, it sounds like this. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm at this power chord, I'm going to slide with the middle finger to 5th fret the D string, and I use my 3rd finger then to play 5th fret the B string. Yeah, kind of a little 6th or inverted 3rd thing going on. Then I'm going to do our little kind of uh, chromatic hammer that we did in the, the you know the intro part with the first bar, but without um, that much of a palm mute. So I'm doing three, four, five in that A string, all hammered. And then I play three in the D string. And then I move to the D power chord, which kind of starts the riff off again. So if I put that all together slowly, it sounds like this. Okay, so that's it. So it's a really cool riff. Um, good use of drop D with a half step down, so it gives it a real nice heavy kind of sound. So uh, I'd like to thank Steve for suggesting uh, Hear Him Scare Him riff. It's about time we did one because uh, I love Mood Swings. I think it's a great album with some really good riffs on there and some awesome playing uh, from Pete Lesperance. Uh, but if you have any lesson suggestions or whatever, you can go and check out uh, the Massive Guitar Patreon group. Lesson Request is one of the perks for the patrons there, as well as getting extra materials, like you'll get the Sound Slice page uh, for this lesson, and you've got access to the guitar profile, uh, and you'll also get access to the Helix patch and how I came up with the tone, and a little bit of research into the gear that Pete Lesperance was using for Mood Swings, etc. Uh, you can also follow me on uh, Facebook, 
um, Twitter, uh, Instagram, all those kind of places. Uh, and of course, if you want to see more, keep up to date with what's going on, on the channel, please hit that subscribe bell and hit that notification um, so you can basically stay in touch with things. And if you've got anything you know, want to say, you want to like the video, please like and comment. It all helps uh, with the YouTube algorithm. Okay, so have fun with that, guys. I will hopefully see you soon.